Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to give you guys a point of view driving of how it feels like to drive in the rain. Let me start off by saying this car sucks in the rain with these summer tires. Absolute trash. Like, like horrible. So, going like 50 miles an hour and you give it like half throttle, you're spinning tires. Like, from a dig, a little bit of throttle, you're spinning, you're kicking out. Like, it sucks. It is, with the all seasons, it could probably be good, but like I have the summer tires and they suck really bad. <laughs> I mean, if I floor right now, it'll just start spinning. But yeah, like 40, 50 miles an hour, you like give it half throttle, you're spinning. Like, it, like even from like, when you're rolling from like a stop basically and you turn, it like just, it feels like a welded diff almost. It like bounces and like tries to drift out. It is crazy. But on the flip side to that, it's also very fun. So it's very controllable. That's the thing I love about it is like, it's such a controllable drift. Like this car is so fun to drive. It's not even funny. Like it's super sick. Uh, the only other issue is this camera. When, like what you see right now is like literally what it looks like. Like I'm looking at it through the phone. Literally it looks like that. Uh, when water gets on that little camera thing, it just like it's unusable. That makes this Camaro basically almost impossible to see out of now like here you know it's dark you can kind of see um but other than that and over there too but other than that yeah it's almost you know it's very difficult to see if i put my actual camera on like that thing probably won't do shit anyways but other than that it was great the alignment i fixed the alignment when they sold it to me alignment was way off it was like bouncy it just rode like crap but and it would pull in a direction but this is like it fixed it it's super sick i'm coming up on you know seven thousand miles now it's pretty sick uh other than that it is it has been a great car like i love this car so much it's so fun once i put all seasons on it like it'll be it'll be pretty lit but yeah i just wanted to make a video real quick and show you guys like the point of view driving on what it feels like to drive a camaro in the rain like right now it's smooth everything's good no issues it's more so just when you're going out, I guess, lower speeds. Like, I'm not going to floor it right now because there's a bunch of cars next to me. But when it was raining, I couldn't even drive my Supra. Like, that was pretty sketch. Like, I would just hydroplane. Like, my, the back of my car would just lift up and, like, just take me wherever I wanted to go, basically. So, <laughs> this hasn't done that yet. And I'm going about 81-ish in Mexico. So, it's, it's not bad. But... Yeah, lower speeds, definitely a little sus. Definitely suspect. No, I just got off work, so. Other than that, this thing sounds incredible. I absolutely love this car. Like, I've never thought I would love a Camaro. I just bought this on a whim. So I saw a picture of it and I was like, man, this thing looks sick. I bought it, drives great. I will say the 10 speed manual does, sh or the 10 speed auto does shift. Um, like, it's weird. When it's on automatic and sport, like not paddle shifting, like it finds the gears that you want to be in and it feels good. But when you're shifting, like with the paddle shifters and stuff, it there's definitely a delay. And like, when you click it, it. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's like me just hitting the down, like the paddles. It feels really cheap, like really cheap. Like it sounds cheap as hell, and it feels cheap. But when it shifts, when it decides to shift, it is crazy. Like it sounds so good when it when you're in just automatic, you don't shift at all. Like banging through gears, it sounds fantastic. But I'm, I'm so used to using paddle shifters because my M3 would, you know, you paddle shift and the dual clutch it would be nice. I haven't tried this, like, this thing though. So, like, I guess, like, upshift isn't too bad, but downshifting is definitely, like, eh. I guess from here it's a little bit faster, like, the feeling feels a little bit better. 
than um, using the paddles. I just these paddles just feel so cheap. I gotta probably have to get an upgraded steering wheel or something like or replace the paddle shifter to like a metal paddle shifter or something. Like the M3 felt solid, but this, yeah, definitely plasticky, and I, I expected that. But it definitely is like kind of eh. It's kind of suspect, in my opinion. God, I can't see. But yeah, it's a. I, I do love, which I like. Props to Chevy, dude. This thing is so quiet on the inside. Like when you want to hear the exhaust, you hear the exhaust. But cruising, like you don't hear anything, right? Like it's so quiet in here. It's really nice. Um, my M3. There was so much interior noise, like, just, I hate interior noise so much. And it would just, like, everything would just make a little bit of noise, and it was so annoying. But this thing, I really enjoy it. It's so quiet, and uh, it's, it's nice. Even the Supra, like, because I guess it was, a, like, a BMW interior, felt cheap, and, like, it felt good banging through gears and stuff. Like, it shifted quick, too. That's the two things I'll give it. The paddle shifters on both cars felt really nice. Um, drove really good. The only issue was the, like, it had a hard suspension, which was fine. It's more so an interior noise that it made. Things would creak and pop and crackle, and, like, it was just, it sucked. But this thing has, for an American car, like, props to them. No noise whatsoever. Super nice. Um. That's why, like, I always tell people, you know, if you want German, like, luxury, like, Mercedes, Audi, top two, uh, obviously Porsche. If you're looking at, like, a BMW that's more performance or get, like, an, like a 7 Series or something because you're going to hear a bunch of noise and it sucks. Um, but if you're all about performance, then, you know, you can't beat BMW. They're the ultimate driving machine. But this thing is so fun. Like, I cannot wait for it to, like stop snowing and icing and raining it was hailing earlier today uh it was hailing and then it like snowed or something like that and then it's supposed to snow tomorrow i believe as well look at all that traffic what the heck there's usually not that much traffic here i wonder what's going on i have a bad feeling damn look at that traffic up there that's kind of sus look at that look at all that traffic what's going on Luckily, dang, look at that bridge too. It's just like all that traffic over there. But, yeah, this thing has been great. Um, I love how everything is. How the heated steering wheel is hot, nice. I wish it was a little bit thicker, like the steering wheel. Um, it's kind of like the Supra where it was like really skinny. The M3 was like perfect. I love like the grip and it was a little bit plushy. So it felt, it felt like really good. Um, but yeah, this thing has been it's fun. You wanna check? Gas mileage now, 21.3 still. Yeah, this thing has been, uh, it's been a great car, can't complain. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Yeah, that's right, get back in your lane, bro. Yeah, I gotta make it an extra video. I was gonna make a video of me washing my car, but I was so tired and all that yesterday. I just was not motivated to do anything. Uh, that was shame on me um, for not doing that. But I will be making a video on me washing the car. I'm just gonna go buy some products and stuff. Uh, I heard Jack's wax or whatever is really good, so I gotta go down there and take a look. Um, yeah, this thing is super sick. Love it. Let me know in the comment section too. Uh, definitely like and subscribe. Maybe just like a nice talk and just kind of thoughts on it's unscripted, so it's whatever my brain thinks about. This is kind of where it's at. If you guys like that kind of content, then follow and like, subscribe, uh, comment below. Like, if you have questions regarding anything about the Camaro, like that's something that I some things that I'm talking about are things that people won't talk about or like just don't think about talking about and like these are the next couple of things I'm going to make videos of or videos of like things that I wish I knew before I bought a Camaro um, 
and like things I love about it and like things I don't like about it and it's just little things like that where people won't talk about you know, some things about the Camaro so I'll definitely be, I'll definitely be like making videos on it um, and we'll go from there but see you on the next video